everybody, I'm Tom Basil, and welcome to the Dice Tower. Today I'm talking about my top 10 board games slash card games from the DC comic universe. Uh, now, this is not, unfortunately, as strong as the list that I'm making at the same time for the Marvel Universe, but there's still some pretty neat games out there, even if a good majority of them center around Batman. Speaking of which, Batman Gotham City Chronicles, I'm sure, is a fantastic game. I have yet to play it because of the complexity of the rules, and I just haven't got around to it, but there's a lot of people who really like that game. I played the game it's based on, the Conan game, and I did enjoy that one, so I, and I played the, the Batman one in prototype form, uh, but it was really kind of a, a mess of all stuff going on, so I, I think that one might make the list, but we'll have to see. For now, number 10, Batman Arkham City Escape. This is a two-player game in which one person's a bunch of bad guys going up against Batman, who's just trying to get off this roof or so, and Batman has all his tools. It's kind of a back-and-forth two-player mostly card game, and uh, this is one that did not get a lot of buzz, but I thought it was a nice back and forth between two players uh, trying to outmaneuver each other. Number nine is the Justice League strategy game. The Justice League here trying to stop Darkseid, um, working together. This is from WizKids, so the, the, it looks like they're hero clicks figures. They're not really. Um, some people said this one is a little too easy to win. I think it's fine, and it's it works well. Cooperative games in the comic book universe tend to go over pretty well, and that's how this one works. Number eight, speaking of which, is Hero Clicks. Like I said in my other video, I think Hero Clicks is a lifestyle game. So for many people, this is easily their number one, especially since you can play against the Marvel heroes and other stuff in it. I like it fine. I think the idea is fascinating as you use you have these special abilities and you can play with almost any hero slash villain that exists. And as you take damage, you click the, the figure and it will change their stats. Some fascinating stuff. And a lot of people love it. I think it is a fine game myself. Number seven is Batman Love Letter, which sounds ridiculous and honestly is ridiculous, but it is the best version of Love Letter out there, in my opinion. In Love Letter, the game you are trying to, you're drawing a card and playing a card and trying to accomplish some sort of goal, either having the highest card in your hand or maybe an alternate win condition. And the Batman theme works really well on it. They really should have just left off the words Love Letter and the game would have been fine. Uh, but a really small, fast game that I recommend. Number six is the DC Deck Builder. Easily the most famous game on this list. And while I initially came out pretty hard in this game, was well, not a fan of this game at all, I played it a decent amount of times over the past years, and it works. It works really well. It's a solid, fast uh, uh, deck building style game. It is competitive or cooperative. There's many different variants and they have a lot of the different people. If you want something from DC uh, Universe, it is in this game and it is solidly still popular almost a decade after it originally came out and uh, well, they, you can't say much more bad about it than that. Uh, number five is Batman Gotham City. This one kind of turns things on its head. You're actually one of Batman's villains in this game, just trying to expand out throughout Gotham City while Batman is coming around and messing things up every once in a while. In fact, you'll use Batman to go after each other. This game, designed by Paula Mori, uh, is basically a Euro game um, it, with the Batman theme on top. The Batman theme works, and this is one that just kind of flew under the radar for a lot of people, but I like it quite a bit. Number four is Dice Masters. Dice Masters may have started in the Marvel Universe, but then it expanded into the DC Universe, making me extremely happy because then I could take Superman up against Spider-Man. But even if you don't want to mix universes, there is plenty in the DC Universe, from Green Lantern to alternate versions of Superman. There's a ton, and it is a solid, solid game. Uh, in, like I said, it's basically a dice version of Magic the Gathering-ish. There's a lot of differences, and it's a very strategic, fun game that I recommend. Number three is Funkoverse, the board game. Now, Funkoverse is a game that's using a lot of IPs currently, and if you're watching this in 2025, there's probably 
many, many other versions. There might even be a Marvel version at this point in time. But the initial wave of Funkoverse had DC heroes in it. And yes, you're using the little Funko uh, DC figures to go up against each other. And it's silly, but it's entertaining as hell get out. And you can have play Joker versus Batman. Wonder Woman is on her way to join this. Uh, and maybe even be out in a few months. I like the Funkoverse game a lot. And the DC heroes are one of my favorite of the groups for it. Number two is Wonder Woman Challenge of the Amazons. This is a cooperative board game, and there's almost three different games inside it. As you uh, are on the island here defending it against some sort of bad guy, there's three different bad guys, each of them plays very differently, and you are taking the warriors around the island trying to fight off the bad guy, uh, get up, get stronger, accomplish some sort of mission. It's a very strong cooperative game that a lot of people will enjoy working together, incidentally designed by the same team that made Funkoverse. And my number one game, which I've been able to play, and I love the game that it's based on, and that's Batman the Animated Series. Now, this one's not quite out yet. It will be out soon, but I played enough of it to know I love the game. One person is a bad guy. Everyone else is working together against that person. Uh, the bad guy has all sorts of tricks up their sleeves, has a cool deck where they will play cards from that deck to activate different groups. The heroes have all different cards and special abilities. It's fast. It's it's simple. It does missions in a very quick way. You can watch online. We've actually played a game of it live where you could see it, and I just really like this one an awful lot. Those are my 10 favorite games based in the DC universe. What games did I miss? What games should I have talked about? Mention it in the comments below. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.